As a Christian, I believe volunteering is a sacred privilege and part of God's original design to allow his followers an opportunity to participate in his grand restoration mission to cultivate his kingdom on earth as it is in heaven. One reason I volunteer is because it's been a good way for me to show my kids that life isn't just about us. Um, it helps our family be connected to the bigger purpose in our community. There's nothing like glorifying God and leading worship with other musicians or mixing a live mix that just works. At Thornapple, I made relationships with incredibly gifted and talented musicians and staff, and that makes me feel connected to the church, the people, and ministries. I totally enjoy volunteering. It fills up a cup that is lacking when I just walk in and walk out. I like to meet new people, um, and all of these volunteer opportunities have helped me to do that. Volunteering helps connect me to people, basically you guys. Uh, and the fun that I have while volunteering, the friends I've made help me keep the focus of the community here at Thornapple. We can't bless our neighbors and draw people closer to God without people being willing to help out. Even if your gift or commitment seems small, it is much appreciated and could be a way to help others make connections to Jesus. Second, it is a great way to get to know people as you plan, create, and serve together. Conversation is more natural when you're side by side around a task. Hi, I'm Kim LeClaire, and I get the opportunity to hang out with the preschoolers and kindergartners on Sunday mornings during the school year. I do it because being integrated into the fabric of this community with all of you is the heartbeat of Thornapple. Paul didn't say to become to be fed weekly and then sneak out the back door. He called us to really invest in each other and our families through face-to-face -face time. Connecting with the kids once a month allows me to see them in the hallways all the other days and know them by name. And personally, I heard the gospel countless times as a teenager from adults who loved me so well before God softened my heart to meet him. And so it feels like a real privilege to get to do that for the kids running the halls of this church. I have gained so much through serving at Thornapple. I have grown close and become friends with a variety of people. I have gained confidence in knowing that I am helping draw people closer to God, whether by working with children and trailblazers or playing music on Sundays. Connecting with others and knowing that I am serving God's kingdom are two of the biggest takeaways I experience by serving. Volunteering at Thornapple has been a really nice way to get to know other people of all age ranges at church. It's also helped me learn more about what Thornapple is about. Volunteering has helped me remember that God designed me to serve others, not just care about myself. When I volunteer, I remember that God has called me to this community to learn together, worship together, suffer together, and serve together. Serving others well absolutely requires God's sweet spirit enabling us to do so. You can come into a church space, worship and leave, but it is also fulfilling to give something of yourself without any expectations in return. The unexpected returns are the reasons that I keep giving. I get back so much more than I give. It's worth putting myself out there to see what God may have for me that I may not be expecting. In 2018, I went through a divorce and had to give up many things that were near and dear to me, including my church, community, and worship team, which on top of everything else was incredibly painful and discouraging. In early 2019, I visited Thornapple, met and talked to Michael Weller after the service, told him I wanted to use my gifts on worship team, and when I received my first invitation to play, I broke down in tears. Playing on Palm Sunday in 2019 was redemptive for me, and I've been involved ever since. Through volunteering with Family Promise, something that's been meaningful to me is our own family discussions about homelessness in our community. I like that this opportunity actually has served our family and our kids' understanding of needs in the world. Volunteering uh, connects me to my kids uh, because uh, if I work in children's ministry, I know what they're learning and I can talk with them about the different things that they're learning. Uh, volunteering here has also um, helped connect me to your kids. And uh, when I know your kids, then I know, get to know the parents. So for me, volunteering is all about people. But perhaps one of the greatest volunteer experiences for me, and my wife Jill would say the same, was the great privilege we've had this past four years to serve in Thornapple's student ministry as small group leaders. As a longtime proponent of intergenerational ministry, Jill and I realized 
we could only think of one or two high school students whose names we knew. It was very convicting. Today, we are friends with over 40 students and over a dozen other adult volunteers, and I can honestly say that we've been the main recipients of God's mercy and grace. Through serving, I have met so many new people and have played with so many babies over the years. Some of those babies became my students, which was also fun, and some of those babies are my grandchildren. I have made many positive connections with young people during our Trailblazers on Tuesday nights. Almost every week, we spend time together in small groups. During these moments, we ask and answer questions, share about our lives, and pray for each other. This has been a great time for me, and I have seen children be excited to share the impact that Christ has had in their lives. I have to say, one of my favorite experiences when teaching in Sunday school or VBS are, are those moments after a story when you can see that kids' hearts and minds are open to the truths of God's Word. I feel like through their thoughtful questions and, and tender hearts, I come out having been transformed a little more myself. 